Jones Amuichechiti. I'm coming from Solezi. I'm a second year student pursuing computer science at Mukuma University. Yes, I came here. This is my first time. I came for academic breakthrough. Besides my academic breakthrough, I think even family issues. Yes. Um, lack of employment, like my dad and my brother, the first point. And my mother's health. My mother experiences different problems with her health, like her legs do swell. When she went to the hospital, she was thought she's got gases in the stomach. And then from time to time, like she's not fine. And then at times I also experience the same, like my legs do swell. I've also got gases in my stomach. Then for me, I have eyesight problem. I was told I'm allergic to light and I needed to get lenses. Things have just been rough. Like I'm on self-sponsored. Like I haven't acquired a student loan. And then it's been very rough for my parents to pay my fees. And even just for them to sponsor me with other expenses in school. My other siblings are also in school. Like my immediate elder sister, she's at CBU. And it's also not been smooth for her. Then the other one, she's had challenges with clearing just grade 12, her grade 12. My brother has done electrical engineering, but then it's, he's not found a job. And then he drinks a lot due to frustration. Dad is not doing anything at the moment, but then he's done human resource. He used to work for KCM, but then he stopped some time back. And then after that, he decided to go back to school and continued his studies. He's upgraded with a master's in human resource. Then he's still looking for a job. Every time whenever he gets called for interviews, they just tell him, say, we'll respond, we'll call you back. But then that's the end of it. Like, they don't call back. My mom is a tailor. Yeah. Like, that's the only source of income. But then she's not physically fit. So it's very challenging. Okay. From first year, I haven't really had a good time in school. It's something I wasn't impressed with the outcome. According to the input that I put in and what came... So I've really been frustrated and depressed afterwards. I was, I've been, I'm actually doing a program that I didn't actually go that night for. Because after the natural science thing, then there was the quartering of programs. Even, uh, you know, I was confident to say whatever I was writing. I knew what I was writing. And then it just comes out to say, I'm repeating this and this course. It was very frustrating. Okay, when it comes to my academics, like lectures, classes, I pick it quick, like whenever the lecturers are lecturing, tutoring, I'm able to get what they are teaching. I'm even able to explain for others, but every time I write a test, it just comes out contrary. And then people have just started looking down on me, like they've shown me that thing to say, you're not capable of anything. And then it has really demoralized me. Others would just judge me for things that I'm not even most of them just judge me on the perspective of my color. I shun away from people. I don't want to be around people. I don't feel like attending lectures anymore. I'm putting in my best, but what's coming out is not corresponding. After my first year exams, I, just, I, I decided to stop. But then that forced me to go back. And then I just, I think I've just lost, I lost it. Like, at times I wouldn't want to attend lectures. And no one, whatever anyone says, they didn't convince me to say, go for this lecture. I was repeat, I'm repeating two courses from first year. And that depressed me more. The effort I put in, I was sick last year during my exams for first year. I was very ill. But despite that, I still managed to write the exams. And then, at times I ask myself that question, like, what's wrong with me? Because... When I mean to say, okay, studying, I've dedicated my life to my books. I love school, even from primary. I enjoy studying and I spend most of my time doing that. I would grasp concepts, but then I don't know what just happens. There are times when I would just leave the room, like especially in the evenings. That incident was last year around June, July. 
um, I was remembering in the evenings when I was about to go study. So I felt like I was suffocating in the room. I left the room. Then I decided to take a walk outside. It was very dark and then my boarding house is it's next to a game park and then there are a lot of trees around. So when I was walking, the next thing I saw myself is I was admitted in the hospital, the clean the school clinic. And I, according to the people who were around, they told me they found me near the game park. I was lying. I don't know what happened at that point in time. And then the other blackout I experienced was during my exams. I wrote exams in February for end of semester one. And I would enter the exam room, sit, the exam would commence. But the next thing I would realize is the, the invigilator saying 30 minutes to go. I would panic, I would end up writing things that I'm not even understanding. Ah, my dreams are terrifying a lot. Most times I dream men abusing me. Other times I dream... Like, okay, recently I used to dream of my teeth falling off. Or my front teeth falling off. And then... At times, I would dream I'm praying with people, like praying for people. And then everyone is coming, like, I'm shielding people. Yes, whenever I'm praying. And then at times, people would just be after me. Dogs would be after me in dreams. And then the other thing is, I constantly used to dream of premature, like death among us, my family members. In 2019, I lost a brother, my elder brother. I used to have dreams about it. I prayed about it. But God still allowed it. He passed on. And then from then, like, th recently I've been dreaming it's my mom. But then I just lost hope. I'm like, ah, I lost my brother. And this dream is back. What if I pray and it still happens? <laughs> For how long? First year, I didn't want her to proceed to second year. Even this time, I won't allow it. You won't allow it? No. What exactly transpires when she's in the exam room? She, she blacks out. She usually blacks out and can't remember anything that she's been studying. Who are you? I'm the uncle. The time has come for this one to be separated from you. In Jesus Christ's name. relieved i'm just nervous to check my results because they are out i was told a few minutes ago so yes that's i'm just anxious for that and i believe everything is well and then the other thing was i was experiencing i was experiencing a migraine like i've been having it for days now and usually exam period i experienced that but now i feel relieved like it's like nothing was wrong with me i feel light I want my academic life to change. Yes. And then I also want my health to stabilize. And as well as my parents and my siblings' lives. I want God to intervene. Like it should be evident to say there's really been deliverance. It should manifest in the physical. We're expecting a lot. Positive results, good health and spiritual growth. One thing I can say is we are all Christ's children. And here on earth, it's just a journey. We shouldn't be carried away with all the worldly pleasures. In as much as we might be Christ's children, we should be ready to take up or face every challenge. Even as Christ faced all the challenges that came his way. And uh, we call ourselves his followers. So he went through persecution and we shouldn't expect our lives to be smooth, no. As a Christian, you just have to expect to say it will not be smooth, 
But that doesn't mean you have to give up. It doesn't mean that's the end of it all. His resurrection is evident enough to say there's something great ahead. In as much as we have the problems and we worry a lot, we just leave room to the enemy. Usually there's a verse that strengthens me. It's uh, that's Galatians 6 verse 17. It says, For I bear the marks of Christ, no one shall cause me any harm. We should learn to live with that confidence. We should learn to live with that say, no matter what challenge, if Christ resurrected, who am I not to face this challenge? People would come, people would always be there to oppose, but that doesn't mean it's the end. Let's learn to be strong, always focus on the cross.